Welcome back to All the Mods 9. Today, I think I want to try. Well, first, we'll put on our gear so I don't get irradiated. I would like to try to work on this machine here for mechanism and start stepping into maybe the first step in our ATM star journey. Since we've been focusing so much on mechanism, I feel it's only right to continue down this road and to try to get to this part um, and complete this part of mechanism, or at least work on it today. Oh, a steel block. What else are we gonna get from here? A uranium ingot. How many did we get from that actually? A whole eight. Oh my God. And we got two steel blocks. Neat. Uh, but yeah, I think that would be, I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. That's definitely something that I feel could use some attention. Since we are working on so much of the plutonium and polonium and oh my goodness i think maybe i should just go into here and turn off all of these mechanism things let's go to the next page turn off the geiger stuff too let's walk over here get some more recent sounds i'm just gonna type in mechanism here which one is it what is it? what are you it's the injecting factory this there we go so that's most of those done what about all of these. Oh, wow. It's so much quieter here now with everything off. Oh, my goodness. How are we doing here? We're still positive on the fissile fuel. How are we on this? Okay. We are, I hope, slowly going down. We should probably be fine, right? We're totally okay. Yeah, we're totally fine. Uh, these are these are producing good. This is still good in the hood. I'm very, very happy with how this is going. This one sink is able to continue to do good work. Maybe we need one more um, just to be safe. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it alone for now. I'll leave this alone. Let it keep doing its thing. We can actually make this even larger here because this hasn't even hit its max capacity. But we do need to add, it looks like, more vents. Um, but I don't think we can put any more blades on there anyway. Unless we were to raise it taller. I think we can make it taller. And that's what's limiting things right now. Hmm... I don't think we need that power right now, though. I mean, we have 250 billion power at the moment, and we're producing 2.2 million per tick. So we're okay. And we're only outputting... Uh, well, I say only. We're outputting around 720,000 per tick on average. Or around like 710,000 per tick on average. But we're still... That means we're still net positive 1.5 million, which is absolutely nuts. We need more concrete which means we're we're running into problems with the stone essence unfortunately and i think that's due to us crafting the granite here is it the granite we're definitely running out of stone essence is it because these are so fast and we're producing so much nether quartz i mean we are we are pumping those numbers up and we definitely don't have enough stone essence to keep up with what we want to do these are fine uh where is it it's here yeah Machine is ready to work. Oh, no, you ain't. Oh, yeah, you're not even working anymore. That's right, because we stopped outputting the stone essence here, which means that even with those three stone essence going, we still don't have enough granite. Oh, these things are also like... Oh, when they're completely out, it, it remakes it. Okay, but that's only when they're completely out. That's still fine, I think. I think this works at a decent pace. And I think the reason, the way that this is working here is after it exports everything, then... Maybe it sees that there's nothing left. I don't know, honestly. I don't know how that's working properly um, or how how the logic's done here for it to know when it needs to produce more because it's supposed to have 64 in stock always. Maybe it's a timing thing on when it's been exported and then when it'll cook it again. It's been five. It was like six six seconds maybe until it went through again. Oh, this is going with all this quartz dust. That's what I like to see right there. Hey, yeah. Okay, so on the topic of mechanism, right? The reason I was mentioning, can I zoom this out? Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's a pretty cool feature. So why I was talking about making the stone dust is because I want to make this platform larger because I'd like to have this be the mechanism focused area. And I don't know what we're going to need for that SPS casing machine. I don't know how much space we're going to need. And I'd like to kind of move this out a bit more and extend it back more as well, um, just so we have more room. And to make the concrete, we need stone essence which we are running out of even though we have three stone seeds which is absolutely crazy so even with these growing as much as they are with this all the way down it still ain't enough 
And that's pretty, that's pretty wild, huh? That is pretty freaking wild. How do you make the red fertilizer soil? What can you do with this? Oh, whoops. I need to go to the crafting grid. Red fart, <laughs> red fertilizer, red fertilizer. Uh, is there, is it just this? Oh, we need to make some bone meal. Okay. What do we do with this? Can I use it on something? Oh, I probably have to use it on farmland maybe. So let's grab some farmland here and I need to, I might, what I might end up doing here is actually moving the farm upwards. We don't have that many, oh, are these spruce? Nice, okay. Spruce, so we can grab some spruce logs here and we might uh, build this up. I think we need to build it up to here, right? And then we can have walking space under. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I'm just gonna... I want to maybe add another layer to the farm so we can start working on getting more seeds planted because we're going to need more resources of certain things. And we definitely want to make sure that we are growing enough to keep up with everything that we need. So for the next layer, we're going to need some water. What is this under here? Oh, is this just the pylon? That's just the pylon. Okay, the harvester pylon. We're going to need to make another aldamadium hoe. So let's make the hoe, then we can do that. And we'll have this, and now we can make the harvesting pylon, make the harvester pylon. And we need a block below this one, I suppose, like so. And then we do that, and that will be, because this will be where the farmland is. That means we're gonna need to move this table again. Do we need to move it? Yeah, because we need to be able to put the, uh, the chest that it's gonna send stuff to. So we'll just go around it. All right, and then we can get a barrel. Just do the gold barrel. Sure, why not? Are you almost broken? Do that. All right, that's good. This is where things might get a little tricky because we need to store water on this row. I have a question and I'm going to see if I can answer my own question. So let's do that and that. Let's uh, do this. I want to see if we can do this. If we place that like that, can we place water onto there? Oh, wow, you can. Does it go down? Oh, neat. That's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. Well, I learned something today. That's freaking awesome. I don't know how long you've been able to do that, but I'm glad I can do it now. So that's cool, I suppose. Oh, shoot. No, my pickaxe is too good. Damn it. Well, I guess I can try this now. What do I do that? Can I use red fertilizer on it? Does it become red fertilizer? Fertilized farmland. Did I get the seeds for those? I did. How much faster are those? Are they just... Oh, okay. There they go. Um... All right, I don't know how much faster those are than the red fertilizer, but I hope quite faster. Those things also aren't, uh, they also don't have water on those two. That one seems to be doing good though. I don't know, but we broke those, unfortunately. Those also don't have growth accelerators under them, so, which we need to fix that problem as well. We need to have growth, growth accelerators on everything. That would be the ideal here. Oop, and we'll go here and do that. We are going to improve the farm. Oh, looks like we're going to need to do another little... Oh, I just found another problem too. Okay, so we're going to have to fix something here. Oh, we can just go... No, we can just go straight up from here. So, oh man, so, so much faster. We can just do that because we need that space for water. And then this is still connected. Yep, that will be still connected. And the water shouldn't flow through that part, I hope. And I hope that the water can just sit on that part as well. I sure hope it can. Let's do this and grab a grab a bunch of them. Okay, then we can do that and that. Is that all good now? Are we filled up? Sweet. All right. I mean, okay. Maybe we can just do that. That should work out well for us. Okie dokie. And then we can use those straight up paths as well to work properly. Now you, oh, actually, the that one, we'll make the ultra. Break that and do that. Okay, there we go. Now we can do farmland, probably. Um, all right, I think that's all of them. Yep, it is. Okay, now we need lily pads of fertility. Oh, we have plenty. Hell yeah. And we should be able to do this. Can it place all of them? Yeah! Hell yeah. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. What? You better have something good. You don't. Get out of here. 
Where you at, idiot? You stinky goober. I don't know what the hell you thought you were doing up here. Ooh, that's really cool. You can hold your uh, ult to mine and mine that. Sweet. Now we need to make the fertilizer. Can we put multiple fertilizer on the same one? Ooh, I need uh, a way to get red dye. I probably just need dye seeds, dye essence, which means I need the dye agglomeratio. Okay, I have four of that. That's good because we're going to need to make uh, four of these. So into here. Now we can, once we have this growing, we can get every color of dye. This is going to be so much better than all the other stuff. It, this is another one of those moments where I can't think of a better way to automate all types of dye. Sure, there is a way we could do flowers and everything like that. That's just too much. Too much. Sometimes there's a limit, you know, to my to my sanity here. Let's take this. I will plant it here. So it'll start doing the thing. Hopefully it'll start outputting. Okay, it's got the hoe. This is actually growing quite slow, surprisingly. All right, did the thing. Well, it's probably because it's regular farmland, right? Uh, okay, so we have the dye essence. Now we need a red dye, which is three of these. All right, we got red dye. And I wanted to see... Well, we already have one. I wanted to see if we can do multiple on one. No, we can't. Okay. Oh, shoot. So we can't do multiple on one. That's fine. Is red fertilizer faster? That is something that I don't know. Can you fertilize this farmland? So I placed that. Can I... No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. I needed to know. I don't know if this is faster, but I'm going to do that. Holy... Okay. Oh, wow. That was so freaking fast. What? Okay, that's definitely faster. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, I just need to make a bunch of this. Uh, what bones were you using? You're using frozen bones. No, use regular bones. I don't even know where I got those. Now I'm upset. Okay, now we need red dye. All right, we have more red dye. Let's make more of this. Okay. All right. So we can add, we'll add these ones. We'll add the spider seed, I guess, since we got that from something. I don't want to add the zinc seed, even though we did get something for that. I don't really want zinc at the moment. What does the hemp turn into? Hemp fibers, which is a secondary for string. We can actually turn the hemp fibers into string. So let's just go across here. And can I? Nope. But we can do this. Oh, that's all of them. All right, then we'll put some spider seeds over here, I guess. Uh, what other seeds do we have? Industrial hemp. I'll just surround this one with the hemp seeds. And we'll just chuck this onto this over here. We'll have this go down for items. So this will take in the farm. Anything that's dropped. Uh, what else can we turn that into, though? I want to know. So, hemp coil rope. This is for immersive engineering, which might be nice to have a bunch of anyway, so that's good. Accumulator backpack. What is that? So, we can turn this into string. That's good. And some other stuff. But string is good. Really, it's going to be really annoying to come over here, though. My backpack is going to keep getting full by that thing. Uh, spider essence. What does this turn into? Spider eyes and string. Oh, okay. So it's just better. Oh, we, that means we have a ton of string already. So I'm not worried about those then. All right. Yep. Not worried about you. Sorry. Now, what the hell is this? I didn't build that. Did I? Oh, I'm. Yeah, I did with the. Uh, okay. I see what happened here. I did that with the with the wand. All right. Well, those are good. This is still pooping stuff out. I'm going to make a better importer for this. I want it to be more faster. So let's make the uh, ultra importer here. I'll do that. There we go. It's it's more faster now. Sweet. All right. These right here. Give me those. Did I get all the seeds? I sure hope I did. And we are going to do I have silk touch on this? I do. I hope it still touches them. It did. Nice. Okay. We're going to take all of these up um, just so we can have them. And we're going to do the farmland stuff here again. And then we'll do the growth accelerators afterwards. 
All right. Now we just need more of this red fertilizer. Should be plenty. I believe Pilpo mentioned this in his video thing about the harvester pylon. Um, but I didn't know what he meant by red fertilizer. I didn't know it was an item. I thought it was like a type of soil. So when I looked for it, I couldn't find it. All right, now we have seeds and things and things and seeds and things and seeds. Okay, we got all of those. We have all of these seeds as well. Let's uh, set these up properly. So let's grab the dye seeds. And what other seed was over here? Spider seed. Let's instead put a... I want to put a line of stone seeds here. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put those three there. So we'll do a line of those. And then we're going to do the uraninite. We're going to do more uraninite and more fluorite up here. We're going to not do a whole line, but we're going to go across with those. We will do the whole line of uh, the other seeds, though. These, well, let's grab this. We're going to need air essence at some point, I believe. So let's go ahead and make the seeds for it. So there's those and water. So those are the elements that we have. Air, fire, nature, and water. They should have named nature earth because that would have been a cool reference those four okay and we're gonna do the dices over in this corner here so i can keep an eye on them okay let's uh fill this up and you might be saying why are you putting whoops why are you putting the ones that produce more on the top or the things that we need and i'll tell you right now i didn't think about it <laughs> i didn't think about that so that's my only reasoning for not doing that but these are gonna grow faster anyway because we have I hope more lily pads will grow them faster with being layered on top of each other, but also because we're using red fertilizer, even if the even if they're further away from the growth accelerators down there. Let's just fill this bad boy in for now. We'll just do that. Yep, all good. All good in the hood. Damn, we're going to get a lot more inferium now. I sure hope. We can only make 44 of those. We need more. Okay, those are done. There we go. Okay, those are good. We still have a bunch more to do. We have four more rows to do still, which I'd like to do. Yeah, we got even more done. We could probably finish this, uh, but then it's going to take, take some manual crafting. And I don't want to deal with that, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, sweet. We expanded our farm. We still have... It still has empty spots for some crops. That is okay. We should be getting a lot more uh, Inferium coming through, which is going to be very nice for us. So we can continue to upgrade those growth accelerators. Let's go to bed. We're awake. Let's now get some more stone seeds. I don't know if there's a way to set this up for auto crafting. I've tried it in the past and I couldn't get it to work. There probably is. I already have another idea to get this auto crafting. Four stone seeds. Okay. Where's our stone seeds? They're in this row. Even more. Now we need to make these uranium seeds because I do have a feeling we're going to be running out of uranium. So I want to get these done as well. All right. We got the two seeds. Let's chuck them down here. Right there. There we go. Okay. Coolio. All right. That's all fine and dandy. We got the farm layered up. We fixed some potential things that I think might make us lose out on stuff. Let's do some white freaking concrete now. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. We're not even going to need enough. I just wanted to fix that stupid issue with the stone essence running out because now look at us. Oh, <laughs> I think that red fertilizer is doing really good work for us right now. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Let's extend this out too. I think that's right on the chunk border. Yeah. Yep, it is. Oh, and this is over the chunk border by one. Isn't that a problem for our machines? Are we chunk loading these? We are. Okay, so we're good. We have more space over here, but now we're space limited because of these. We need to move these under. I should have done that. That would have made sense. Okay, anyway. Okay, let's look into this beautiful thing. Well, not this one specifically. 
Uh, we're probably going to want to look into this here. But I think to get this super critical phase shifter, we are going to need a bunch of power to get this to work. But maybe we can build it still. And we'll probably build it over here, I think. And whenever we make the other thing for power, we'll build it, we'll build it over here next to our uh, power storage area. I don't know how large this thing is. It looks quite large. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by seven. It's a seven by seven. We have space over here for that. We can probably build it over here. Um, we need 60 casings, 122 glass, and three SPS ports. Okay. So let's make the casings. We need that. And we need the reactor glass. We'll just make three stacks of that. And then it said we needed three ports. Okay. Three. Now we need more of that so i'm gonna get more of that there we go sps port oh we got out one for free i should have only made two well no we need four and then we get a reward a speed upgrade Used to produce one millibucket of antimatter you need 400 million rf oh. if you haven't started making a fusion reactor now's a good time to make it is that what this is the fusion reactor okay okay <laughs> oh no all right the fusion reactor this is probably what we want to make over the fission reactor right the fusion reactor looks like once activated it's all good for this setup we'll need two ports to input deuterium and tritium and the ports then a port to output power okay so we're going to need a fusion reactor controller fusion reactor frame fusion reactor ports and reactor glass all right well we finished that quest now we need to fuel the reactor very special fuel dt fuel where there are two ways to fuel the reactor, either by pumping in DT fuel directly into the reactor at a thousand millibuckets per tick, or by pumping each of the two fuels in separately at controlled rates. Let's pump them in separately. We'll probably need to know how to make them as well. All right. Pump the lithium that we're making into a solar neutron activator to make tritium. All right. So we need a solar neutron activator. So many things. Every time we jump into mechanism, it's crazy. So we'll probably pipe these into this. But then we're going to get a chemical and then we need to well so that means we probably build the fission reactor here right maybe i don't know but for now we can place this here we'll place it the other way like this and then we will get a pressurized tube to go into these which means that we're going to need to increase the brine that's getting inputted into this which means i need to get brine being stored in our system so these things can output faster since we have unlimited fuel storage we might as well do that. So let's put a mega importer on here and let's get some cables, which I think we have some. Yes, we do. Let's go up and around so I don't, so I can give myself some headroom and let's do that and change this to fluids. There we go. Now we should have a ton of brine coming in. We have a bunch. Are we still very positive? Oh, we are definitely positive. Okay. We're probably going to need more. Okay. So this is just telling us basically how much we're producing based on all of these connected so every tick it has four buckets because we're getting 4,320 per tick. So that's good. Which means you can export even faster a speed upgrade or two. So this can keep up. Yeah, this is keeping up now, I think. Yep. How's our fluids? We still positive? Yep, we're still positive. Good. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that's good. Is this thing going it's not even at full blast we need to put some upgrades in that mug let's do that we want to be pumping pumping it out we'll do that pump this up oh we we, we need this to go even faster so let's just pump it all the way up it's 25k fe per tick and it's full is this outputting this is outputting right oh no it's outputting the lithium all right and these are not accepting which is unfortunate. Oh, they accept input. The fronts are output. Okay, well, let's turn these around then. So these are taking in lithium. And then in the morning, they will work. Is there a way to get something that represents the sun? Is there a way to fake the sun? A sun altar. What is this? What is this? What are you? A sun spirit. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to look into that. I want to I want to know if that is something that is potential that we can do cuz that would be pretty damn cool if we could emulate the sun and have these running at all times. Okay, that probably means we need more solar neutron. How are you doing? Whoa, you're empty. Why are you empty? We have tons of brine. What happened to you? Oh, it's cuz this was full that you weren't doing anything. Okay. Okay, so we need a better exporter then. All right. Do that. Brine bucket. Yes. Go. Okay, that thing's fast. 
the elite exporter holy crap now we need to check this okay yep we're gonna run out now that this is cooking up which means we're gonna need two more of these thermal evaporation plants okay let's uh get back into the business well hey you know what we are gonna get on top of the problem before it becomes a problem all right are you still working yes you are very nice okay we have two more of those hopefully that means that the brine is going to be positive now it should it should absolutely be positive oh yeah oh yeah she cooking all right i'm glad that we got that problem resolved let's go ahead and try to mute these machines too because the day is loud there's still some running over here i think that's fine they're much less they're much more quiet than the other ones okay all righty let's get back to business oh these have tritium in them that's good okay so we have tritium now let, now we can jump back into this process here so we have tritium here and what's this we'll need to create two different gases this one being deuterium we need a filter separates heavy water from regular water heavy water what in the hell oh we need to make a pattern for tin dust what uh, machines can we push you through a crusher do we have a crusher downstairs for this recipe i think we do right we have a crusher doing this crushing factory yeah there we go so we can do tin dust that's what we needed right for the filter upgrade yes okay well let's do that and then it'll make one and then we can do this yeah quest completed what was the other part actually let's go to bed and then we can continue our work now we can continue and there's a rainbow oh my god look at the rainbow that's cool look at it it's so pretty now it's going away so we apparently completed all that. We got an advanced solar generator. Nice. Electric pump. Do we... So we already have an electric pump somewhere? Okay, so I did make one. All right. I got three advanced solar generators. What the hell? How do I place these down properly? Like that? How much do you guys even give? I don't know. We'll just place them down. Yeah, 154 FE. Let's go. This is producing a whole 600 FE. That's crazy. That's so much power. All right, so we have the electric pump and we have this filter upgrade. So this, to make this, we'll need to make some electric pumps and give them a filter upgrade, place them over a source block of water, give them some power and they'll pump out heavy water, pump it into an electrolytic separator to get deuterium. Okay, so I'm thinking that we would probably do that here, right? Can we use a kitchen sink for this? That? Will it take water now? Nope. I guess it does need to be an actual source of water. Let's grab a water bucket then and some concrete like that. Okay, yep, now you're taking water like that. Okay, now you're taking power. Nice. Then we need to put a filter upgrade in here, apparently, right? What did I just do? It went in, right? I don't have room and output. Okay, you have power. Now we need to output this heavy water for this. Hey, whoa, hey, hey, yo. There we go. Heavy water. All right, we might need to do multiple of these. So unfortunately, during the recording, my mic ended up getting super staticky. So I'm going to attempt to do a voiceover here over what I was talking about and what I was doing. Basically, what we're doing right now is setting these electric pumps up to get heavy water so we can put down an electrolytic separator and get deuterium. The reason we are going to need this deuterium is because we need to make something called DT fuel. DT fuel means D for deuterium and T for tritium. You combine those together in a chemical infuser and then you get Get your DT fuel. The DT fuel is needed for something called the whole ROM. That item is used in the fusion reactor that we will be building. Its only purpose is to inject fuel into the fusion reactor to jumpstart it. And in order for the hull ROM to inject the fuel into the reactor, we need to make sure that we shine some lasers into a laser matrix. The laser matrix needs to fill up with 400 million RF. Then we need to shoot that laser into our fusion reactor once it hits 400 million. And then the fusion reactor should start up and then it should start using the fuel that we're going to send into it. The fusion reactor can use tritium and deuterium separately or you can pump dt fuel straight in 
The problem with pumping DT fuel straight in right away is that it is very expensive and you cannot control how much is getting burned. It by default burns 500 millibuckets per tick, which is a lot. That is a lot. So we're going to start using deuterium and tritium because we can control how much it is burning per tick. Yes, we'll get much less power this way, but this is how we're going to get started. And then we can scale up to using DT fuel so we can reach those crazy big numbers like 200 million. Now, unfortunately, the lasers are very, very slow. So we're going to need to make a few of these and we're going to place them on the sides of this laser amplifier here. And we need to make sure that it's pointing in the right direction. I don't think I did that the first time and you'll see what happens later because I got to learn that the hard way. <laughs> Now these lasers do take in power, they take in 4000 Fe per tick, and you can't upgrade these, and that's why they're very slow, because we need to hit 400 million RF, so this is going to take a bit. Since we have to wait for 400 million RF, we're going to go ahead and we're going to improve the systems that are producing deuterium and tritium, so we're going to add more heavy water pumps and we're going to add more of the solar neutron activators just so we can have a bunch of deuterium and tritium in production so when the fusion reactor does come online we can go ahead and set that burn rate to a higher level because we would have enough machines to produce for that type of burn and since we're waiting already we might as well go ahead and make some more of those induction cells and induction providers so we can store more power and output more power because we're going to need to be able to do that also, for the first 400 million FE that we did hit, I noticed now that the laser amplifier is pointing up and it destroyed one of the lasers. So I'm going to have to break all of these lasers and I'm going to have to put them back down. But uh, make sure you don't do this. <laughs> uh, yep, lesson learned. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the hazmat suit because there's radiation over there. So... To get our stuff back, we need to put this on. Let's grab our stuff, and then we're going to have to put down the lasers again, and then I'm going to have to reconfigure the laser amplifier. And how you configure the laser amplifier is you make sure that you have the minimum FE set. And for our purposes, we need to set this to 400 million FE. So we set 400 million here. And then you also need to make sure you click down here to change the redstone output to energy contents. So when it hits the minimum threshold that you set, then it will fire off and then it'll start our fusion reactor. Right now you see like a little bit of residual power in the fusion reactor. That's because we shot a tiny bit into it, uh, but it's gonna dissipate and it's not gonna produce anymore. We need to make sure we hit 400 million RF and then it'll continuously produce and it won't decay like it is here. Again, I want to say sorry for the mic issues. I've never had to do much voiceovers like this, so I hope it wasn't too terrible. Uh, if it's good, awesome, let me know. If not, please let me know why. Thanks. Uh, but the rest of the video, my mic is good, so I'm going to let the rest of the footage play. Okay, so since this is still, what is it, slowly producing? Yeah, 1 FE. And you're at 211 million. Okay, so we need to let that go up to 400 million, I guess. Or, yeah, 400 million before it shoots the laser. Are we up here? Ah, oh, we're just crafting the induction providers. And we are ready besides the control circuits and the advanced control circuits. So that's really nice. We are almost there. Mechanism. We have six of these. There we go. Now we are just waiting on these induction providers. Okay. 96%. Come on, baby. Oh, it's all done. Let's go. Where are they at? There you are. Come here. Yes. Okay. Now we have another layer of poiples. We got the poiples. This is still cooking up dope in the crock pot, as I like to say a lot. Let's go ahead and break this. I feel like this is dangerous being in here. I feel like I'm going to get irradiated, but I got my mech suit on, so it don't even matter. Oh, man. There's going to be so much power in here now. Bam. We can store almost 20 trillion power now. That's nuts. This is bypassing. That is good. This is completely empty now. Oh, no, it's not. It's inputting what it has, though, when it has it. This is at 277 million. We have so much more still to do here. I actually might want to just make more purples. <laughs> we might just set those to craft. Ooh. Um... 
No, before I do that, I'd want to upgrade this system here so it's even faster. Look at this thing. How much lava do we have, actually? We haven't checked on that in a while. Do we have any lava left over? Oh, we have 8,000 buckets. 1.1 million buckets of brine. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, for this, for the bucket-wise, you just take the last three digits off, like it displays here. 114 buckets of honey, 97 uh, buckets of mineral, um, 11,000 buckets of ethylene, 13,000 buckets of XP. But that's so much brine buckets. Holy crap. And to think that we almost ran out at some point. Actually, we were running out. I'm really happy with these going off. These are very, very important for us. Let me go ahead and get rid of that death location. <laughs> Not because I feel bad about it. I'm not saying that I don't either, but because it was annoying. For 3 million power. Oh, 300 million. This is just going to be the waiting game now. Hey, what are you doing? You still ain't got shit. Get out of here. How's the radiation he around here right now? Oh, we're good. We only have a little bit of exposure. Oh, except for over here. Over here is still bad. Yep, especially this area right here what's stuck oh you're stuck that's fine at least these things are still producing that's good right that's good probably want another solar neutron over here gosh we have so many of these things but let's make another one of these we'll get a pressurized tube and we'll do that and that and that and we're gonna break this off break it off okay these are good you're not even taking in waste that is not good because this is sucking up all the waste and you are not getting any yep probably oh no it's because you don't take input out of the front you dingus there we go now you're working yeah now we're getting more polonium which is good very good for the next system that we're gonna need to make we're definitely gonna need that place looks so full now <laughs> with our all our little mechanism projects wow i'm not moving this I hope I don't eat my words and move this because I don't want to move this. That was annoying. I do want to move those though. Those are in the way and I want to put like the SPS thing right, right here. I don't want to put it over there because I want to be able to extend this outward and also extend this outward as well. I want to leave those uh, not bothered. We're also going to need to be able to expand this, but we can expand this one this way and that way. I don't know if we can extend this out. I do think we're going to need to make multiples of these, maybe. I don't know exactly how that's going to work for these, because I've never made one of these. I mean, power storage-wise, what are we even at? What percentage? We're 2.5% full right now, a little over 2.5%. I can't believe this is jumping up to, like, you see that? It's jumping up to, like, 1.1 million. That is crazy, man. Holy moly. We're, once this is, like, functioning, we are actually going to be at a point where we're going to probably start using the energy trash can. Okay, I need to make sure I understand this. Make sure to turn the laser amplifier off or activate redstone control and wait for it to store at least 400 million RF. Then it'll be ready. Okay. So this needs to hold 400 million. We're going to... I'm not going to touch that. I'm not going to touch that. And it should... It should send it as soon as it hits 400 million. Whoa! It did it! Yo, let's go! Holy crap, we did it. Yeah. Oh, it's going up in production. Look at that. Holy crap. The rate it's injecting at. Are we positive on this? Oh, we're so positive on that. We're slowly draining on here, but we have so much. How much can we do? How much do we go up to here? Heat. Do we need it to heat up? I don't know how that works. We're producing 330k. Okay, so it's still spinning up. Do we need to pump water into this? If we do... Oh, then it has passive, higher passive generation. Do we want the temperatures to be lower? I need to check this. Okay, so the better way to do it is this. So with this, we're producing 130 millibuckets per tick. And with this, we're producing... Was that 240 millibuckets per tick for half the day? So we can probably comfortably bump this up to max. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'll bump it to 50. Oh, we're already at a million. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, wait. It's too hot. Is it too hot? Whoops. Let me bump that down. How do we control the heat here? Yeah, max casing temp. Is this going to cause problems? Does it need to store... Oh, do we need to be producing 50 million? Mm, I need to see if the fusion reactor can blow up. Okay, so the fusion reactor does not explode. 
Okay, so I guess I don't need to worry about the heat. So I can probably comfortably bump this up to... Um, let me think. So I'm constantly producing 130 millibuckets per tick of deuterium. So 130 millibuckets per tick of deuterium and 240 of this during the day with all of these. If I'm producing 240, is that... How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So each of these produce 40 millibuckets a day or 40 millibuckets each during the day. So essentially we can cut this in half. Uh, so we can comfortably do 120, which means we can max this out, I think. Um, as long as we don't run out of brine, which I don't see us doing. I think we are like absolutely golden here. I think we are good. I I think we are good to max this thing out, actually. So I'm going to try that, but we need to throw on the flux plug here. So we can bypass that limit. And can we turn this off? Okay, we're going to turn that off. What are we producing at? <laughs> we're producing 9 million. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's crazy. How do I see that stat sheet that I was looking at last time? Not here. Here? Oh, yeah, heat. Okay, so we don't need to worry about these. These are just how hot this is, I guess. Wow, we're already up to 12 million power per tick. Holy crap. Look at that. That's insane. Um, I don't want to break this because I think it'll shut it down. I'm going to leave that alone. Oh, look at that. Yep, we're producing so much tritium. We're also producing a lot of this too. Yeah, I think we maxed this thing out. We just have to wait for the number to go up. That is crazy. Wow. Holy crap, we did it. We freaking did it. Look at that. Oh, man. If that ain't a screenshot moment, I don't know what is. We're at 17 million. Are we still going up? We're still going up. Still going up in temperature. So what I read about the water cooled stuff, it's not very efficient at um, steam production. And I'd rather, oh, look, we're at passive generation 19 million. So I think that's our max that we're going to get up to is 19 million, which is fine. But what's happening in here is um, we can do water cooled. But as you see, we're going to produce much less power. Yes, we'll output steam and the steam will go into here. But this cannot even hold 14 million millibuckets per tick so we'd have to upgrade this first and then connect the steam that's coming from here into this but i also read that upgrading this is much more efficient for steam production than this would be so yes though this does rely on uh fissile fuel but this also relies on chemicals as well and i'd rather have the chemicals here completely focus on producing as much power as possible than anything else so yeah oh wow both of these are full yeah we're, we're net positive on this can we how high can we make this go no we can only go up to 98 we can't go higher than that that's okay though so we have this is this gonna max out soon right it should that's 19.6 million fe per tick is that so let's see this will be 500 millibuckets per tick of each fuel okay so if we want to reach 500 millibuckets per tick of each that means that we're gonna need to make 50 in total of these and we'll also make more probably for a buffer so we'll probably make like 55 60 of these which is a lot we i think we're maxed out on this oh no i think we're at half yeah i think we're at half production here are we well if i raise that will the production go up no production doesn't go up okay so we're maxed here this is maxed out on how fast it can go so we're gonna need another one of these to produce the lithium that we require and we're gonna need since each of these is 40 we're going to need 13 of these. So we would need to pump all of these. And then we're also going to need to pump those into here to get the DT fuel. And then we can pump it into there. And then we can max this thing out at a draw of 500 millibuckets per tick, which is feasible. It's definitely feasible. We just need to set up more systems in order to get this to max. But wow, holy crap, we did it. I got shot by a freaking laser. We made this cool ass thing. That's so sick. I'm so happy with this. Can't believe that. Look at that. 21 million FE per tick. Holy crap. Look at this. And it's still going up. It's going to go up to 19.6 million. That is crazy. That is insane. We're getting 21.8 million FE per tick. I don't even know what to do with that much power. What do we do with that? What the hell do I do with that much power? Oh my gosh, 
that actually wasn't that complicated. I think it's because we know so much about mechanism already. So it might be complicated to some if you're brand new, but hey, you know what? It was a process. Why do I have a backpack on my chest like that? What is that? What in the hell? I ain't never seen that before. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe we broke 20 million power per tick already, but I think we can go even further and I think we can max that thing out. We might do that on the next episode. We also need to make the SPS casing thingy majig from Mechanism. But thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.